uh, in YouTube. So uh, making a quick video now because uh, I don't have MATLAB with me and I needed to install you know, uh, Octave just to do some control system stuff like uh, doing basic transfer functions. So the way to install Octave in Arch Linux this is how you do it sudo pacman s octave that's an equivalent for ubuntu but um yeah i won't talk about that now so it's uh, pretty straightforward if you're on arch uh or in the linux dis linux distribution so that's one second uh you can actually open octave on your command line i already have it open but uh let me just close this yep I'll just open it up and type octave that would uh, open this up or better yet search here the new octave it will open up okay so um i can do clear and clc okay so this is a command history i have here but it should be blank when you just start opening this up i'm gonna drag this to the side and you have most of the command window here. Now, uh, how do you install uh, transfer functions here? Okay, you go to the Octave uh, packages. Today, well, 2023, it's on gnu-octave github.io forward slash packages. The control package is right here. So open this link in the new tab. Okay, uh, you will need to do package install of this control. All you need to do now is uh, just copy this, copy this, and paste it here. Okay, sorry, let me try one more time. Copy, clear, just control W by the way, clear CLC, and I'll just paste this here. Okay, package install HTTPS, GitHub, GNU Octave, packet control package control releases, so on and so forth. Enter this, wait for a few minutes. Okay, uh, this, will, this will go on for a few minutes and uh, it will install Octave, the control package of Octave. So let me pause the recording and I'll fast forward to when it's installed. Yeah, just take note, it will, it will take a few minutes. All right, it'll take a few minutes. Okay, and now we're back. Uh, so, yeah, if you want to uh, load the control package, you use package. Okay, TF. Yeah, if TF is a uh, yeah, if you're not sure how to load the control, uh, how to start for that matter, you you uh just type TF because TF stands for transfer function, and usually yeah, it is not loaded by default, so you have to load it from here. Say the TF uh, belongs to the control package of Octave Forge, which you have installed but not loaded. To load the package, run package load control. So package load control. Okay, and then I can write TF. And this is this will uh, get you a transfer function with some static gain. Okay, it's a constant uh, gain thing. Nothing, nothing too fancy here. So if you want to start uh, transfer functions, you can start by doing so. Uh, normally the syntax is to use s, so s equals to tf uh, with this s over here. So this is just the transfer function s, it's a derivative transfer function, so to speak. Okay, and then once you have s defined, you can write g, which is your transfer function, uh, standard notation for transfer function g equals 1 over or maybe 5 divided by s plus 1 okay you have something like this y equals to uh, y equals 5 over s plus 1 a continuous time model and to give it a step response you just type step of g that will give you a step response okay on the right hand side you will see the graph with a step response here nothing too fancy Okay, I'll just close this. If you want, uh, if you want data, you can write t, uh, comma y equals to step g. 
Okay, and then I'll, I'll uh, use semicolons to suppress the output. Okay, go to the left and you'll see uh, over here you have a you have a, a set of uh, time data from 0 to 100 of this transfer function or rather 100 lines of data and then y is the output so t is the time y is the uh, output okay so the gain is 5 you can change the gain and it will it will be uh, easier to differentiate so let's change it to 17 17 over s plus 1 Let's run the same command again. Then you will see that y goes to 16 point something. If I type t here, it will go all the way to 5 seconds. Okay, so what do we do now? Okay, we can actually save this as a text file or CSV file. I'm going to try saving it as a CSV. So t.csv here. And this one, I'll save it as, okay, let me try here. All right, here's why. Oh, pardon, this should be why that, sh uh, my variable names are swapped. It shouldn't be ty, it should be yt. So, pardon the mistake, yt. And here it is. Okay, now I'm going to save it over it again. T.csv. And right here, I should get y.csv. y.txt, I'll save it as y.csv. Okay, now close Octave. It's uh, lagging a little bit. Oh, shucks. Where is my y.csv? I gotta go find it. Yeah, anyway, I found y.csv, y.csv hiding in my home directory. So, yeah, you can just save it as a CSV file. Now, I'll use LibreOffice to open it. And it comes nicely formatted as such, as follows. Okay, so from y equals 0 all the way to y equals 16, it's nicely formatted. Okay, um, there are some options for uh, changing the step function. However, it is pretty limited. Um, if you search online, um, the time, the introducing time delays and different step, uh, different steps. How to say? Yeah, introducing a time delay and steps of uh, different magnitudes that will be difficult for the step function because uh, right now it's just not really implemented yet. So, unfortunately, uh, well, octave step functions are as such a little bit limited compared to MATLAB, but uh, you get what you pay for. Octave is uh, free software, uh, so it's not everything is included, but it's already pretty impressive given that it, it's free and on a license under GNU GPL. Okay, so I think that's all for today. I will stop uh, this and I'll see you next time.